We're heading out, we're gonna arrive in Toronto late tonight, and then we're going to be in Toronto for all of, it's gonna be less than 24 hours actually. This looks so much better in person than the photos do. I know. That's why you're confident it's gonna be done in three and a half weeks. Yep. This is kind of blowing my mind right now, <laughs> yeah, because we've there. never done a green I kitchen. Know. It's It's, very, very it's so good. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Milanote. I am so excited to introduce you guys to Milanote. It's a new program that we are integrating into the office. This is like a Pinterest on steroids. So for all of you design enthusiasts, I know you're gonna love this. And if you wanna check it out, hit the link down below and uh, you can check out Milanote for yourself. Yeah, we're six feet apart. Perfect. We're six feet apart. Everybody is six feet apart. Okay, good. You guys are in for a treat because you're gonna be seeing in real time how the House Bond team adopts a brand new, amazing program, and I would not be telling you guys that if I didn't believe it. So that's one of the reasons why I'm so excited to have this meeting with you. Two things, we are kicking off a brand new project, a condo renovation in Yelltown, and I am going to introduce you to Milanote at the same time. We're going to go through all of the normal things that we would go through when we're doing a kickoff meeting. Everybody on the team is going to have their own login. So you can see right here, I'm in Milanote and Crystal is signed in to Milanote as well. If I click into the Yaletown condo renovation, we've set up oh my God. these boards already. Wow. This is good. I'm just getting used to how this works. But the amazing thing about it is that it's super user friendly. So you can just move, drag and drop, move things around like that. So if you wanted to start a new board or a note or column like you see right here, you just go over to the left hand menu and then you can pull this over. We can call this next steps. In Crystal's computer, did that just update for you? you bet. We can all be working in Milanote. So we have a column here called about the client. And in this case, we know recently purchased this condo, which is just over a thousand square feet. He is a little bit of a hippie, so he plays the guitar. He's... Right. <laughs> 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 Definition of a hippie. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a minimalist, that's what I gathered. But he loves like natural light, he loves natural finishes, natural materials. Does his budget like those things? No. Okay. No, his budget does not like those things. <laughs> <laughs> so we had pulled just a few initial inspiration images that are directly from Pinterest. So if I go into my Pinterest, where we would have hundreds of photos oh, yeah. for one project, but you only need your favorite 10. You can go in here and then you can clip it. It gives you a drop down for the board that you wanna save it into. So I can just go save to Yelltown Condo, go back to that condo renovation and here it is. And then again, you can just drag and drop. And then you again, you can add a note. I really like the wood tome, but client doesn't love the marble mm -hmm. or something like that. And then at the very bottom, you could have your little checklist to do. So you'd take this over here and then you could add the different tasks. What's also cool is if you press, <laughs> if you press the photo and add a reaction. Oh my God. And so can you then PDF that page? Yeah. Yeah, you just go to export. And then you can P and then PDF it, right? So what I'm so excited about is that when I was on the road filming Restaurants on the Edge, I had to do stuff like this all the time, comment on design, create notes, and I would be screenshotting stuff on my iPad and then adding notes in another app. And you know, it's so hard with design because there's that element of like sketching and collaboration and trying to communicate your ideas. But what I love about Milanote, and even in just the first few minutes, is that you can do all that in one place. 
So I think it's super cool. Like I feel like I will completely adopt this tool. Okay, sound good? Yes. We gotta go to the airport. We're in the car right now, we're headed to the airport and we are getting out of Dodge, in a good way. We're heading out, we're gonna go over to Caledon, just outside Toronto and check up on the Caledon house. So I'm really, really excited to check up on progress. I'm sure you guys are gonna be really excited to see how progress is coming. And I haven't been back since any of the finishing has happened. So this is gonna be a really, really, fun and exciting trip. It's Monday afternoon, evening, we're heading out. We're gonna arrive in Toronto late tonight. Um, so it's gonna be after midnight and then we're going to be in Toronto for all of, it's gonna be less than 24 hours actually. And then we're back in Vancouver. A couple quick things that I guess I wanna touch on and update you guys on are, What's going on at the office? Admittedly, I've been up in my head a little bit because I've been really focused on restructuring my team. Emily just moved into a management role, as you know. There's been some more shuffling around on the team. We're about to hire again, which is really exciting. So we're about to add another designer. Holy smokes, I never thought I would be adding to our team in COVID but we've been killing it. So my head has been in the big restructure and this has been really new for me. So I've never been in a position before where I've moved people around the way that I'm doing right now. I've never been in a position before where I've restructured a company. I actually had no idea how much energy this would take and how much focus this would take. It definitely has not been an easy last few months, but it has been a very rewarding one. And this is all so that as soon as we go into the new year, 2021, bring it on, we're gonna be ready. Yeah, you really made the project better. Good. I don't say that about anybody. I feel like it's good. You actually elevated it. Yeah, it's been such a fun project to work on. And like I was saying, it's been such a great collaboration. Yeah, yeah, we work well together. Good morning! Look who it is! Chris Davis Whoa. is back joining <laughs> us on the channel. The architect and mastermind behind this amazing Caledon house that we're working on. He's my friend now. Yeah, we're friends. We're friends. <laughs> Racing the clients are moving in in three and a half weeks. That's right. <laughs> so there's still a lot to do. I'm probably going to stress out after this trip, but the clients are moving. They're going to be here in three and a half weeks. Which would you see the house? It's not moving ready. It will be though. It will be. It will be. <laughs> In three and a half weeks? Yeah, it will be. It will be, okay. Okay, come inside. So much has happened. Ooh, look at all the slate. Wow. Hi. How are you? Wow. Oh my gosh, so cool. There's so much to take in. I know. Holy cow. Well, the handles are in too. I know, they're beautiful, eh? Oh my God, look at this green. This looks so much better in person than the photos do. I know. This looks really, really good. Are you happy with it? Oh, I love it. Uh, like I was saying before, this is definitely the first time we've ever done a green kitchen. So like, if you just clean this up, like all mm -hmm. they need to do is give the house a bath almost. Mm -hmm. And it's very close. Well, I think like this looks incredible. I love the green stone. I love the antique copper handles. And then the pantry. I can see now why the photos that you sent me looked a little brown. 
it's, the but it's, are, it's the, it just doesn't do it justice. When you're actually it. in here, standing in here in person, this looks incredible. This is like, this is kind of blowing my mind right now <laughs> yeah, because we've right. never done a green I kitchen. It's, it's, very, very it's so good. <laughs> I, I'm starting to get nervous now too because they haven't seen it. And yeah. so all of our all meetings, of all of our meetings have been over Zoom they, and have signed off on all this stuff over photos. A, a lot, lot of people. trust. And now I'm nervous <laughs> about them showing up. Look at I, how cute this is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the ceiling has been installed. It's a light white oak, a natural finish on it. All the black beams have all been painted and they look really, really good. I actually do like this light. I actually do like this light. Okay, you kind of won me over with this light. I knew it. Same. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> the entire time I was like, I don't know about this light. It actually looks really good. All of that slate is on the exterior of the house. So it wraps in so they look like continuous volumes from the inside to the inside. Yeah, see, and I was nervous because I'm like, what the heck, you want to bring an exterior material inside? I'm like, that's not going to look good at all. But seeing it now, it actually looks really good. The fireplace looks incredible. I don't think that it looks too big at all. I'm glad it went to the ceiling too. Right? Yeah. That was absolutely the right thing to do. My gosh. I think that this is one of the biggest fireplaces that I've worked with in a house. It's massive, nine feet long. You can see there's visibility from all four sides. And, and the basement. And the basement. We were trying to design this in a way where it wasn't going to be overwhelming and it had to like, it had to still be elegant in this space even though it's such a huge, a huge fireplace. But this is absolutely the right thing. I actually don't mind this. What's that? The, just the structure and how this is coming yeah, together. Of course. There were only two things that I doubted Chris on and it was this structure and the slate. But seeing it come together, it actually looks really good. <laughs> I don't want to go in there. You know what? It is a tiny bit minty, but once we get all the other finishes in here, I think it's gonna it's gonna be fine. This is the master bedroom fireplace. We did a really good job. We did a really good job, Chris. <laughs> this is so cool. <gasps> the tile. Oh my gosh! I didn't realize that this is in. Holy cow! I love it. I know, and I love it. <laughs> so this is the bathing room, and this tile, this is a matte finished, so it's a honed marble. And again, we're pulling in the blacks and a little bit of the green in this tile. We decided to do the floor, the walls, and the ceiling in the bathing room. And I think that the tile combined with the wood frames and just the interesting shapes on the windows makes for a really interesting space. And then a beautiful freestanding white tub. Yeah. The tub will go here, and then this is the light that we forgot about. Shit. It's not? I don't know. It, it does look like it is. Oh, I can still kind of smell the construction glue. Is it weird that I really like that smell? A little. Is it? <laughs> Are you, you're waiting for him? You can go up. Okay, okay. I'll meet you up there. Let's go upstairs. Isn't this house crazy? It's insane. <laughs> This is where the owner's office is going to be. And then all the way up, the stairs look great. The fireplace is in. And right up here, which is the highest point of the house, is going to be what we're calling the speakeasy. This is a place to sit and listen to music. And that's it, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna do a sofa. We ordered a rug. I wanted to put a record player in here, which I thought would be really cool. And this is the wallpaper, I believe. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have been wanting to use this wallpaper for such a long time. So I am so excited that this is the project where we get to use this wallpaper. It has this like 70s retro vibe. And it's a deep, deep dark brown and gold. Like how cool and funky is that? And this paper will 
connect these two spaces because this will continue down the stairwell and into the office. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. After designing this space, I'm like, oh, every house should have a speakeasy. I know, but the paint color looks good. The wallpaper is the right one. I opened the box okay. and I opened it up. It's good? Yeah, it's okay, good. good. It's gonna look so good up there. See, standing downstairs, you can see this incredible fireplace upstairs. The stone actually sort of sinks into this space, which is pretty remarkable. And so we're still debating the chandelier. Do we actually want a light fixture that you can see through both of these spaces? Or is that gonna take away from the fireplace? I don't know, we haven't come to a conclusion yet. So that's where they wanna put the sauna? The sauna and the white. So we have to fit a sauna in the space. Last minute addition, an infrared sauna. And a wine room. And a wine room, no problem. See again, like if they just took all the stuff out and cleaned it and just put the final coat on the wall, mm -hmm. except for that, it's finished. So it's very deceiving how close it is. That's why you're confident it's gonna be done in three and a half weeks. Yep. <laughs> we should, we should, just watch. Just watch. There's no option. <laughs> so this is the theater room. Carpet has been installed. Millwork is going in. It's got a bar where there's also going to be the wine colored uh, stone on that back bar. There's all of these little LED lights. They all get snipped and they look like a constellation. Yeah, right, we're getting close. Yep. We are getting close. I feel like it's really coming together. Yeah, it's absolutely getting there. I mean, for me seeing it like this, I think that what I had in my head, it's even better seeing it in exactly. person. Yeah, it's better in person than in photographs even, I find. Oh, it's way better in person right. than in photographs. That's why you had to come. Yeah, like every time you send me a photo, I'm like, okay, I'd like it, but I don't know, I just need to see it in person. Yep. The bathing room, I think is probably one of my favorite rooms. Mm -hmm. I think the fireplace, in the middle of the space, the black marble, I don't think is too black at all. It doesn't look too retro. I think it looks amazing. Yep. Everybody who walks by it comments on how beautiful it is too. Really? Yeah. Okay. And you do like the green kitchen? Oh, for sure. You don't Absolutely. think it's weird? No, definitely not. Okay. <laughs> it's different. Every, uh, every quality of light, it changes too. It completely and changes. And copper, I think, goes with it extremely well. So... And I think they're going to love it. You think they're going to love it? <gasps> I, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want to be here when they see it for the first time. I've never met them in person. The owners have never seen any of the finishes that we've presented to them in person. Yeah, this they, will they be, they get to meet their designer and <laughs> see their house exactly. all in one full swoop. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thanks, Chris. Thanks for the tour. Okay, so it's the end of the day. It's about two, almost three o'clock. We've had a full day of touring this house. Chris thinks this is gonna be done in three and a half weeks. I think it's gonna take a little bit longer than that. You can still hear a ton of construction going on behind me. You guys got a little bit of a um, in-progress project tour, which is kind of fun. And now we head back to Vancouver. in the office after a very, very, very quick trip to Toronto. The weather was noticeably better in Toronto. I was sweating the entire time we were there. It was like sunny, 16 degrees. I was wishing I had a t-shirt on the entire day. And here we are back in Vancouver and it is dark and gloomy and cold and raining and gray. And it's only 3 p.m. and it looks like it's about 9 p.m. So, <laughs> welcome to Vancouver in the fall. But that said, that was a very awesome and exciting trip. You guys are seeing this vlog um, right after the previous vlog where I was talking about all the finishes, the beautiful green millwork and the green marble and seeing it in person is like amazing. And I was saying to Matt too, I was like, You're, all the designers are gonna be jealous that you actually get to see the house in person. Yeah. 
because it's so great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we are back in the office. What I'm hoping to do today is do a site recap with the design team. We're gonna go through some of the photos, we're gonna go through a to-do list, and we're gonna talk about next steps. And I'm gonna use Milanote in order to facilitate this meeting. So if I click into site photos as an example, this will just scroll all the different photos. So I would say that obviously the green is like a huge win. So this fireplace looks unbelievable. It doesn't look too big, it doesn't look too black, it's not overwhelming, it actually feels like it's grounding, right? Sorry, no. just so much. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what are you thinking about? I'm talking about fireplaces. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, no, it looks really good. <laughs> um, I, like, I love the master bedroom fireplace because I love how much space there is and so you can really see through. You... It's kind of nice because when you walk in, it makes a statement, but it doesn't, there's still space on either side. Great. What? Billable versus non-billable tea sheets because then I can print it as everyone's little um, cheat sheet as well, but then they can go through and access it and actually like I said, that's the stuff that you like doing. So if you if you want to. <laughs> Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. That is it for today. This was action-packed. You got to see Kaladin in progress. I cannot wait to show you the rest of this project. And you also got to see Milanote. I am very, very excited about this program. Definitely comment down below and let me know whether you would use Milanote. I think it's pretty cool. And of course, we're gonna link Milanote in the description box. So if you wanna check it out, you can hit that link, download it, and check it out for yourself. Thanks so much for watching.